Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend, Movie Maniacs. Come inside with me today as we take a look at the independent horror film called Postmortem America 20. 21. Yes, brought to us by writer-director Cameron Scott. And it gives us, uh, well, there's a number of story kind of lines going on, but the main story is we have Lucille, who was wronged, who was killed, but she's back now, and she's out for revenge against the people that have wronged her. All the while, uh, in the background, we have an apocalypse happening on Earth, where the dead are rising from their graves. Folks, this is like Kill Bill meets Night of the Living Dead, okay? First off, I really like the concept and the story, the multi-threaded story they had going on here, uh, and how they brought it together. I really enjoyed that part, and it's a very ambitious project for being a low-budget independent film of this nature. You've got a large cast and this multi-threaded story, which they managed to... Uh, put together and tell without one being confusing and one never feeling like it's being drawn out. The editing and pacing of this film are really well done and I never felt uh, the time at all of the film like you do for some films, okay? So it was edited and moved really well, so I really enjoyed that. And the music was decent for it as well. It was fitting for the film. Uh, I really liked all the locations that they picked for this film. Definitely found some areas that felt like uh, apocalyptic or on the brink of apocalypse and, and some shots in here some of the places where they shot really cool places a, a theater in that as well some really excellent locations that looked really good on camera another thing that looked good on camera was this cast this the huge cast that they have uh, they all do well for the parts that they're in though I do think a couple parts were miscast and unfortunately one of them uh, was Lene Quigley um, uh, I like her I've loved her in a lot of movies I mean she was in Stella Bueo which we saw recently at the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival, and she's in some of my favorite movies from the 80s, like Sorority Babes and the Slime Bowl Ballarama, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Loved her in those roles, and in this role, while she does well in the role that she's in, uh, it just didn't quite feel like she was the right person for that role. It, was, it had a lot of kind of action parts to it and that, and uh, I'm not sure who you could possibly maybe get in that role, but Lene Quigley just didn't feel quite right to me uh, with the role that she was portraying. So, uh, and there was a couple other casting things as well, but most of the cast, or I should say all the cast do well with the script they're in. I just think uh, there could have been some better options in the roles that they had, uh, one of them being what uh, Lene Quigley was in. But she does well, uh, her best in the role that she's in. Now, the one of the roles that I really enjoyed in this film was Jim O'Rear's uh, Severin. Oh, he was great. He was just a great, being the head kingpin guy trying to keep his organi crime organization together and having it fall apart, mostly due to Lucille and uh, this apocalypse that's happening. Loved his character throughout the film. He really kind of stole the, every scene he was in, and he was very entertaining, as well as the, ca the rest of this cast is. Like I said, well, some of the people I think they picked didn't quite fit the roles. Uh, the The acting job that those people do in those roles are are fun to watch, okay? So I did enjoy that. And each character is definitely interesting. There's a lot of characters in this film, and each one did feel unique and not reused, okay? So, and there's some humor in here. Uh, most of it, uh, you know, kind of a lighter horror film along with it. Plus, then there's some darker moments, and then there's a few moments when you're just like, Oh my god, especially when they get in the scenes where you see how Lucille was wronged. Oh, wow, folks, I never thought it would go to places it did. So, Postmortem America 2021. Uh, while it is a bit rough around the edges, I did enjoy the story. I enjoyed the ambitiousness of this project and in, and the performances by everybody on the screen. While some of them, I think they could have been picked for different roles, their performances were well done. The makeup effects are great. There is some CGI blood in here, not a whole lot to be distracting. I could have kind of did some out with it, but uh, the weapons that they have in here as well felt real and the way people were shooting them for the most part felt uh, real as well. So it, it's a, a little bit of both in this, but on the whole, a solid film. I enjoyed uh, this movie, and I think fans of independent films will enjoy it as well. It's got its uh, premiere happening down in Chicago. I'll link down to their Facebook so you can get more information so you can check it out. I would love to hear what your opinion is of this film, and also possibly any other films that you would like us to review on this channel. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think, or also uh, let me know what your favorite Lene Quigley film is. I'd be interested in that as well. 
And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Until next time, folks, keep that ticket stop.